Welcome to Genetics 4. This is Mr. Judd, and this is about RNA. RNA is DNA's helper. It helps take the information within DNA and distribute it to the ribosome, which builds proteins. The key words for today are ribonucleic acid, also known as RNA, messenger RNA, also known as mRNA, it's a special type of RNA, ribose, and the RNA bases, which are A, U, C, and G. First, I'm going to begin by drawing a very blown up version of a cell. This is the edge of the nucleus, and inside here is the nucleus. Outside of that would all be cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. Inside the nucleus, you know there is DNA, and DNA is in coiled coils. This is only one little bit of DNA. And you know that DNA holds information to make proteins. To do that, it has to distribute the information. DNA is locked in the nucleus. It cannot leave. So it relies on its helper, mRNA, to transfer the message from the nucleus out to the cytoplasm where it's needed. mRNA gets copied or made from the DNA. And then it is allowed to leave the nucleus when mRNA leaves the nucleus, it's going to go to the ribosome. And I'm going to draw in the ribosome here as uh, a two-parted structure. I'll label it the ribosome. The mRNA literally leaves the nucleus and then connects to the ribosome, where the RNA is read. And remember, it's a copy of the message from DNA. The ribosome reads that message and then builds a finished protein. And it does that by bonding amino acids. Each of these shapes represents a different amino acid. Amino acids can repeat. And this would be a very short protein, the shapes being amino acids. The main point of this video is to compare DNA and mRNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. Another difference you'll see is that in the structure of DNA, I have these green circles. Uh, but in RNA, I have these blue circles. Those are the sugars of this nucleic acid. The green one is deoxyribose, and in RNA, it is replaced with a different sugar called ribose, ribose, and that's where it gets its name. Notice the phosphate group, the purple, is the same. The other things that are the same include the A, adenine, the C, cytosine, and the G, guanine. Another main difference is that you'll see a U, and instead of T, thymine, RNA has uracil. It's all uracil. It stands for uracil. And it is always in the same place that you would find T. So uh, when base pairing, it's always going to base pair with A. The other thing to notice about DNA is it has two sides. It's two sides or double stranded. And this one is one side or single stranded. Uh, the other main difference is where you'll find them. DNA is in the nucleus only. It's only found in the nucleus. Uh, and RNA can travel outside the nucleus. So you'll find it in the nucleus, where it's being copied into, copied from DNA. And you will also find it in the cytoplasm. So find it in both locations. To review, the main job of mRNA, which is this blue molecule, is to transfer information from the nucleus, where it's found in DNA, to the ribosome, so it can be used to make a protein. Ribonucleic acid is what RNA stands for. Messenger RNA is the particular type that delivers the message from the nucleus to the ribosome. Ribose is that new sugar we found in RNA, and the RNA bases are A, U, C, and G.